Yo, yo, a new peer, and today I'm going to show you how to route the Fairview kit by RS Drums in contact, all within Pro Tools. Good old Pro Tools. Uh, pretty straightforward. Let's get right into it. I already have an instance of contact loaded with Fairview on an instrument track. If you go select the main mixer, you'll notice on this page we have 14 microphone channels for the drums, for the overheads, for the cymbals, the rooms, all that kind of stuff. At the bottom of every channel, we have routing assignments. So if you click this drop down menu, you notice we have just a few options here, really not much to choose from, and we're going to fix that. So we have a couple things up here and then stereo one. Cool, so we're gonna navigate up to the upper right hand corner to the workspace toggle. Click that and then select outputs. If you're working in contact seven, I believe that's gonna be up in the upper left hand corner. All right, now you can see the outputs for contact and right now we only have one stereo output set up, stereo one, which is what shows up in this drop down menu. And because we have 14 microphone channels, we need a total of 14 outputs in contact. And since we have one set up, we need an additional 13. So let's go ahead and hit this plus button next to outputs. Quantity, we want to select 13. Number of channels, we want two because we want every output to be a stereo output. So two channels per output. Sound card, host output, we want this to be selected to stereo two channel one. And ascending output assignment. This is really important because... Once we select OK, all of the outputs that we're going to create are going to have ascending channel assignments, uh, which you'll see in a second. So let's go ahead and hit OK. Cool. So you'll see that it created an additional 13 stereo outputs in contact. So we have a total of 14 outputs. OK. And again, all of the channel assignments here at the bottom are in ascending order, which is exactly what we need. Cool. Uh, now, if we go back to this drop down menu, you'll notice it still says stereo one. All right, why is that? That's because in Pro Tools, you need to restart your session in order for any changes that you make in Contact's output section to take effect. So if you relabel these outputs, if you add new outputs, delete them, ch uh, channel assignments for the outputs, any of that, it, you have to restart the session, which I'm going to do right now for those changes to take effect. All right, cool, we just restarted. Go back to the main mixer, scroll down, and now you'll see all of our outputs that we created show up in Fairview. Cool. So now you can go through and route Fairview to the outputs in contact pretty easily. If you want the kick to be on stereo one, snare on maybe stereo two, rack one, maybe on stereo six, I don't know, whatever you want to do is fine. Uh, we have included a really cool feature, the multi-out feature, which if you select that, you'll see that it just assigns all of the outputs, all of the routing assignments in Fairview to ascending outputs in, in contact. So just a quick way to get everything routed uh, with just a click of a button. Um, so we're just going to roll with that. Cool. Now that that's done, we need to set up aux buses in Pro Tools. So I'm just going to close out of contact and I'm going to create 13 stereo aux buses in Pro Tools. Again, because we have 14 microphone channels, the kick is going to come out of the instrument track and then we need 13 other aux buses for everything else. And I'm just going to go ahead and really quickly label these. Cool, everything is labeled. Uh, now we just need to set the input for these aux buses to be the outputs of contact. So for snare, for example, plug in contact and then stereo two, because that's what we assigned in contact. And then all the way down the line, stereo three, stereo four. If you want a faster way to do this in Pro Tools, if you have all of the, the buses selected, highlighted down here together, uh, you hold Option, Command, and Shift, and go to the first track that you want to assign. Come to the input of the snare, select Stereo 2, and you'll see that Pro Tools will just assign all of the inputs in ascending order for you. Sweet! Now let's test this and make sure everything is working. And I'm going to do that by just going to the Grooves page and just playing a quick groove.
Just a quick tip, if you want to avoid having to set up all of your outputs every single time you launch Contact, you can come here to Presets, Batch Configuration, select Save Current Output Section State as Default 4, and then select All Formats. Next time you launch Contact, it's going to recall your output configuration so that you don't have to do all this over again. Sick! And that's pretty much it. Pretty straightforward process to route Fairview inside of Contact. Uh, if you have any other questions, please visit rsdrums.com as well as our YouTube page, our Instagram, and Facebook. Links for all of those will be in the description of this video. Thank you for watching and see you soon.